when you and I chatted uh, prior to this, um, we, we said that for me, what was important as it was for you, thank God, is to talk about love is to talk about love in general, love in your book in Violeta, which is right here. Uh, for all of you that would like to go buy it, please go buy it. It's a, an amazing book. And, and it, it, it goes the span of a hundred years. And um, I'd love to talk about love in your life, love in her life, and the parallels between both of you ladies' lives and how that has impacted you or affected you throughout the years? Well, first I have to say that I, in my latest, I would say three or four books, I have old couples falling in love. Uh, that's because I got to be old and I realized that I'm still romantic and passionate and I still want a companion. Unfortunately, I am a heterosexual. So it's not easy to find a man that is still healthy and can talk in full sentences. Not easy. <laughs> but <laughs> women are way better, better kept in, in old age. Yeah, in any case, Violeta has a very long life, a hundred years. She's born in one pandemic in 1920 and dies in 2020. Born in 1920. And, um, and in that hundred years, a century, of course, many things happened to her and many loves mm. and love affairs happened to her. She marries very young as women did then uh, to the, the husband that was supposed to be forever, the father of her children, very boring. And then one day, one, I would say fortunate day, <laughs> someone falls from the sky and really falls from the sky because he's a pilot and he comes in a private plane and lands in the lake and he's handsome, debonair, sings, dances, he's a war hero, he's legendary, he, he's a pilot for God's sake. I mean, who would not fall for a guy like that? And, and it is love and passion at, and lust at first sight and that changes her life completely. This man who becomes the father of her children they never marry, uh, doesn't treat her very well, actually treats her very badly. And this is an independent, strong woman who can support herself and her children and who supports him in many instances during their very long relationship and puts up with the abuse. And mm -hmm. then uh, there was a point when I had to wonder why, why does she do that? Why, why is she still there with that guy? And I think she didn't see it because she was blinded by passion and she was amazed by how extraordinary this man was until later in her life when she can see the abuse in other people, in other women, and then she can compare and say, wow, I went through this too. And then she reacts. And then at the end of her life, she finds the kind of love that I have now, which is a good companion to, to to share a life with a sense of humor, with tolerance, with a lot of baggage that you carry with you, but you sort of establish a dance in which you don't step on each other's toes and try to try to blend in these lives that are very different. The guy comes, the guy comes from Norway and they somehow manage to have a life. And that is what has happened to me. So when I look at Violeta, I didn't intend it this way, Victoria, I promise I didn't, but things happen. Uh, people have compared my own life with, with hers. It wasn't my intention. I was thinking of my mother more than of myself. But in, in romance and in passion, I think we, we, we travel the same road, she and I. Now, um, what would happen if a pilot just will drop off the sky one of these days over in uh, San Francisco? I would leave Roger in two minutes. <laughs> But it would have to be a, a first world war pilot, a very ancient pilot. You never know. There's there's a lot of a lot of things that happen lately. He doesn't, he doesn't have to be in a war in a war craft. He could be, you know, parachuting down. You never know. Um, that's very funny. I think um, one of the greatest things about you when I did so much research because I knew your work, but I didn't know you. And um, people that know you, that we, we know, we have friends in common, always said, she is a song of life. Hmm. 
Nice. And Very what nice. I what I hear in those words is you. And I don't know if you see yourself that way. But no, but I do see myself as very energetic. I am healthy and I've always been full of ideas. What about you, Victoria? I'm sure it's the same with you. I, yeah. Your head is boiling with stuff, isn't it? Um, All the I, time. And, the, and your dreams, you must be dreaming like crazy, all kinds of stuff. 